Hi, this is Captain Mike. This is going to be a short video on some tests that I run on glues that I had kind of laying around my shop uh, and testing them to see which one is best for a particular application. Now I'll be testing the glues on glass and on ceramics because those are the two types of material I most likely would be gluing. And I'll tell you a little later in the video uh, what I would use these for. But these glues are just some that I happen to have and some that's not really a glue but work for that. And look at this amazing um, uh, resin and I used it for gluing. As far as I know it works pretty darn good. Now here's what we got. We have as I mentioned, the amazing resin. We have some Gorilla Glue. We have one of these uh, glue pens with a ultraviolet um, applicator and some, actually some uh, UV resin that I have that I used. We have some super glue and its accelerator. We have some E6000 which is, you know, what I picked up at Walmart. And we have some of this stuff called tacky glue. <clears throat> so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break some things. There's just no really other way to do it. And since it's basically a, uh, a test that I'm here and I'm the only one breaking them, it's hard to tell. But I, I will do the best I can and tell you which ones I think take the most abuse. Uh, and I'll go ahead and, and show you what I'm going to use these for, okay? Why I would want to glue glass like this, or even ceramics. This right here is a piece that was a collaboration. Uh, uh, a friend of mine, uh, Christy Moody from Blue Heron Studios, made this beautiful piece of glass. Uh, it's way better than I can do, but she made this. And I made the stand. It was just an experiment. Uh, I had the piece of glass. I didn't know what to do with it. So I went ahead and made a stand. And I glued, you know, it's just took regular float glass and fired it so it would round off nice. I cut the waves in it and I glued it. And I glued this with E6000. So it's been here for a year or better. It has not dropped off. And of course, I got the whole thing glued together. And, uh, Oops, excuse me. <clears throat> I keep knocking off the super glue. Um, the, uh, you know, this is the same application. Uh, well, it's just right here. It's not, it's not through yet. But uh, I just made this one last night. It's not even set up. It's got E6000 in it. But that's if you wanted to make stands like that. That's, that's what this whole experiment is for. What glue works the best? Now, um, you will need to uh, you'll need to to um, to have a good glue because if you don't, this has still got a little super glue on the bottom of it, and every time I set it down, it wants to stick. Let's just say that you had an item like this right here. It, it's got a lot. It's top heavy, so you know you want to put it in there. You want it to stay. So if it's if this stuff is not glued well it's liable to tip over at some particular point in time. So that's what we're going for. We're going for something that will that will do that and uh, will uh, um, won't break over. So here's what, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start we're going to start with this right here. I only have this in glass uh, because uh, I just didn't get around to doing the ceramic. I run out of materials and you have to mix this up. I mix it up 20 grams at a time to to be able to um, to make sure it's mixed properly. <clears throat> I didn't have anything else to do it uh, with after I got through this, so I didn't do it on ceramics. But here we go, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a, what I call a wiggle test, okay? We're just gonna see how much it'll take. And I'm sure it will at some point in time break. Now that, that's all I'm gonna wiggle that. That is, that, that's tough, that's not going anywhere. It's perfectly clear, perfectly clear. This would be an excellent, excellent uh, ad adhesive, let's say, for glass. And that, probably any 
of the resins, but this is amazing. Clear craft, a uh, clear cast. And it comes in two parts, and it is a resin. You can use it to do resin casting also. So it's double purpose. All right, old Gorilla Glue. I hope that big old rascal don't come busting in here while I'm doing that. This, but we're gonna try it first on the glass, okay? This stuff's been sitting more than 24 hours. Okay, let's try it and see what happens. Okay, the Gorilla Glue Clear does a super job too. I would use that and feel confident that it would work on glass. How about ceramics? Let's test it on ceramics. Yep, it's there on ceramics too. All right, the next one that we're gonna do is super glue. And because I use a lot of super glue and it, it's clear also, uh, it's just not as easy. There's different grades of this stuff. It comes, I, this is super thin fast and it's always down to thick and probably this stuff runs a lot. So it's clear, but you can kind of see a little bit of a line. But I want to see how it works as far as tensile strength goes, shear strength. Yep, you see, the super glue just didn't hold on the glass. Nowhere near. Let's see what it'll do on this. Now, it seems to have worked better on the ceramic. It, it, it did fine. Now I want to mention right here, because this was the first failure, is I did grind the base of my glass test pieces before I stuck them here. That's, so there was one rough part. Couldn't do a rough part here, but I did grind that. So anybody looks at it and said, hey gee, you should have ground it. I did. So, but it failed on the glass. Not going to say it'll fail every time, but for this test on glass, super glue is a no-go. Now, the next one is the E6000. Now, it works great. It sets up over time a little better. I don't, I don't really think it'll take a lot of pressure, but it worked great on, on, on this little jewel right here. So we're gonna see what happens just on my test. It's only fair that I do so. Oop. Now, it come right on loose, but it also is still a little tacky in there. I would say that given a couple of days, this would do good. I see how it'll do on, on ceramics. Now on ceramics, again, it, is, it has done extremely well, but then there's a porous surface here. But that's glass slick. But the E6000 also, I have had a couple of people on their videos say that you should warm this up. You should put it at one of these little cooks toaster ovens and, and get it to a certain degree. Uh, I'll look into all that for maybe a later video, uh, but uh, that might would help this, this E6000, although it has worked great for me. Now, this, this is the one right here that I'm not sure. I don't even know where I got this. It was laying in my shop, I opened it up and smelled it and I said, well, okay, it smells like it's powerful and uh, it says it'll glue anything. So we're gonna find out if it'll glue anything. This is a tacky glue test. Oh, it was the worst of them all. It didn't even, it didn't do anything. Tacky glue on glass, don't bother. And this is a ceramics. Oh, the first glue that didn't make it on ceramic. The tacky glue, I think it was advertised on TV one time or something, I don't know. If you see it, don't waste your time as far as this application goes. Now we're down here to the last two. And these pins aren't real expensive. They've been advertised on TV. You squirt a little glue wherever you want it, and then you turn on this little UV light thing here, see it? And uh, it, uh, put it on your glass, and it, uh, it hardens it. And you can also do it in the sunlight. We hadn't had any sunlight for the last couple of weeks. So I went ahead and used this pin on this. Oops, well, it'll take a drop. So now let's just see how strong this is on glass. Nope wouldn't do. Might do better. Might do better if it was sitting in the sunlight for a long time. Let's see what it'll do on ceramics. Nope, won't do on ceramics either. Now, the last one we're going to do before we close is this uh, uh, resin. It's UV resin. And I I talked about it in my video that has to do with uh, all the resin testing that I've done. This is thicker 
than this. This is about the consistency of super glue. This is thicker. This is syrup thick. I put it on here, and, uh, and of course, I, I used my little U, U, UV thing, and I went around it like this and on the bottom. And uh, don't know if I did it long enough or not, but we're going to see how it works on as far as its tensile strength goes. So let's give it a shot. No, I mean, it wasn't even, wasn't nothing. Wasn't nothing. So that did not work. I'm betting it won't work on this either. Nope, won't work on that either. Now, in all fairness to these two, this, the ceramic, it's hard to get the, the, uh, the light down in here where it needed to be, okay? So that could have something to do with it. But this stuff's expensive. And I just included it because I had it up there and I wanted to try it and I wanted to see how it would do against the uh, pencil. This thing is supposed to be the greatest thing since sliced white bread. I don't think so. I've only glued one thing successfully with it since I bought them. I bought a couple of them. But uh, also you can see here that, it, that it's, not, it's, not, uh, it's not set up. The pen didn't set up because the UV didn't get to it. Now. You might could set this, and I will set this out in the sunlight if we ever see the sun again, and see if it'll go ahead and harden up. Uh, but this is a no-go. These are a no-go. As the best that I've seen, the, my, my opinion would be it, get you some, if you don't have any of this, it's dual purpose. This is amazing. Or any of the resins that are super clear. But this, I just happen to have this. Uh, mix it and run your joint 24 hours later, it's, 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 it's really, really good. The Gorilla Glue, surprisingly, was good. Just like they advertised. You could use Gorilla Glue. Uh, super Glue was a no-go. I think we mentioned that. Uh, at least it was a no-go on the glass. It, 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 it held pretty good on the ceramic. And, uh, get them all mixed up here. Uh, E6000, I know it will work, but if you have it, use it. Just let it dry for a couple of days. Maybe put it in a toaster oven. And this junk is a no-go. So, anyway, that's a real quick little video on what glues I have available. It's not comprehensive by any means. Uh, but if you were wanting to glue some glass up or some ceramic up, then that'll give you some idea. Now, uh, if you're interested in... Um, in, in uh, seeing a video, me make a video on how to make these things, uh, I will, uh, I'll do so. Just kind of leave some comments below and see if it'll be worth, uh, you know, worth me doing it. And I'll go step by step on how I make these and I'll make a couple of different ones. Uh, but other than that, that's my overview and, and my experiments with glues. So if you have some that you use that work great, Put them in the comments below, talk to me about it. I'll go buy some and I'll just see how it works in my shop. And uh, uh, as usual, um, you know, if you like this stuff, hit like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. I'm gonna it. see if I can't add this little extra comment in the end of this video because I'm sure someone uh, will, will ask in the comments, but and they'll probably ask why I did not do a test like this where I glued two pieces of glass together. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, uh, the test that I was doing was for the perpendicular, for the purpose of making those stands. Now, some of those glues that did not perform well would perform better this way because the shear strength will have more area. And shear is the, is the part of going up or down like this. This is more tensile this way and uh, so I didn't add it because if you're going to glue two pieces of glass together odds are you have a kiln and you can fire them together but th you might try that you might try putting some of the uh, uh, amazing or some of the other super clear resins here and glue it uh, one last note is if resins do turn yellow so whatever you're making if you're gluing two pieces of glass together uh, you might want to do a test to see how long it takes for it to turn yellow, whatever you use, whichever glue, and, uh, um, you know, go from there. Uh, to, I don't know what the other glues do. 
But anyway, I just thought I'd add that. That might uh, help uh, answer a couple and, of questions. Uh, pretty much that's it. So I'm Captain Mike. That's my video for today. One of them anyway. And I'm out of here.